I did it. <laughs> I was like, you know what, one day I had to skydive. Since I was young, I always said like, I'm gonna skydive one day, I'm gonna skydive one day, but I didn't know when I would do it. It was a moment in front of my life. I was really depressed. I was going through a lot. I was overthinking and everything you guys see, like social media, actually and all those editing and all, I have a passion for this, I love it. And then you know, I like to bring everybody together, do some project. And you know, when you're trying, sometimes it doesn't work and you always hear people like, oh, Frankie start something and she never finished. We're not behind the scenes. There's a lot of stuff going on here behind the scenes. I invest everything you guys see. There's no grand, there's no this. I always do that by myself. This is a passion that I had since I was young. It was kind of expensive though, but I was just like, you know what? Let, that's the problem with me. It's not a problem, but it's just like, I don't overthink. I'm like, okay, I'm going to skydive. Let's go, let's find a place and let's pay it. And that's exactly what I did. Well, my dad always called me communist, okay? Because when I always try to bring everybody together, he's like, you're so communist, that's not gonna happen. That's why it doesn't happen because people don't have the same vision than you. But I was like, no, dad, you know, it's gonna happen. I wanna bring everybody higher. And he's like, no, no, I'm not. I cannot skydive by myself. So I called my friends and I was like, yo, y'all should come. Let's go skydive. Some of my friends, not everybody. They're like, what now? Because I never say that I pay. I just say to the girl, let's jump. And they're like, Frankie, you're crazy. No, I can't do it. So I was just, okay, wow. I come on, I was like, oh, can you come with me? Let's do it. He's like, you're just insane now. So I was just like, but I paid already. He's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, babe, I'm going to go skydive. Please come with me this weekend. And he was just like, no, like you are insane. For you actually going to go? I'm like, yo, let's just do it. I was just so hyped, guys. I was hyped. I was excited. I was like, ah. I remember the day we just going for the music, hyping. Um, I feel like when it started to click, it's like when the, that woman, yeah, it was a woman, that woman gave me the paper and she was just like, you have to sign because, you know, if you die, we're not responsible. <laughs> just to let you guys know, like I did a lot of projects before, extreme stuff like that, you know, and they always make us sign something like that. So I was just like, okay. But when she said die, that's where a little bit some click came and I was just like, oh God, damn. And I was just looking at me like, are you still sh And then that's why I started to be calm. From the hype girl to calm and we have to go to this room to instruction of how it's gonna go and what do you need to do and then i was watching the are you excited i'm excited right now but i want to park because i'm stressing that's why but like right now i'm chill but i feel like when i'm gonna go out dead. and then we have to go to the room where everybody is and it just oh, just looking at me again it's just like oh you sure look at you you're the only black people here there's no <laughs> <laughs> because we don't do this and i was just like yo you go hell <laughs> you, you you was more stressed than me like i was just like what before so they were calling everybody names and everything and my name they were not calling so i was like whoo, whoo. when i heard frankie francesca the Stella, hey <laughs> my heart start pumping my heart start pumping i'm like okay i'm actually gonna scan like now there's no return there's no return i'm actually going and just to let you guys know i went to the highest one there was one was like five thousand feet okay cool no i took the thirteen thousand five hundred feet if i'm not mistaken it was around that so it was the highest one. and my instructor like that they told me that's my instructor and he started putting me in the diamond putting me in my stuff Yes, you are. You're crazy. That's what you are. But, yo, have fun, man. Best of luck. So, how high is the jump? How high is the jump? 13,000 feet. Woo! Man, you ready for that? <laughs> you ready? You ready for 13,000 feet? Alright. I'm ready. Good luck. Yo, if I can do it, y'all can do it. Oh, period, okay? So, woo! Let me like. 
and then that's why I started feeling it and I'm just watching well was just like oh my goodness like crazy and then uh, we took a picture to explain what we're gonna do That's why I feel like the kick actually starts. And I was just seeing like I'm going farther, 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 farther from Mo. So I was just like, wow, Frankie, what a heck you just did. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I feel like I started getting emotional because it felt like I leave again that moment. And I, I start really actually thinking about my family. Like when I saw the plane. When I saw the plane, guys, I don't know if you guys know, I did cadet when I was young. So it's like a small, tiny plane. But when I was doing cadets, I guess my dad wanted me to do pilot when I was young, guys. So I did cadets. So I, I was like, okay, I kind of know those planes. Like, it's tiny. So when we went in and they were going, everybody was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we go inside the plane, It's, it, it was it, it's just an emotion it's just it's, it's out of breath the plane started you guys know i love traveling so i went to a lot of the travel but this plane is a different plane like that so i was just going up and then that's why everything's just like blur like i was just thinking about my family i was literally thinking about my parents actually because i didn't tell them that i'm gonna do this and i was just frankie what the heck are you doing like i'm gonna literally jump from the plane and it was just so crazy and then when you're going up and it was like ah I was just like no I want to go like now there's no going back like I now it's just like I cannot stay canceled like I want to get free front I just cannot and there was a moment I think I was like okay you know what I don't want to do it I don't want to do it anymore I don't want to do it please I don't want to do it please bring it back and they were like no you can't do it and then they put me in and I have to stay down to the man that was already awkward you know I was stressing and now I'm sitting down on the top of the mat like what the like I was like, yo, let me tag him. I was just told him, I was like, yo, I hope I'm tired. Yo, please. Guys, when the door opened, imagine going to the plant and the door opened. You see the wind. I was just like, my God. Like, I was praying. Guys, you guys don't understand. I was praying already. I was just seeing people jumping, jumping. I was like, thank you, what? You did. I would start praying. I was telling God to forgive me that I was playing with my life like that. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that. He just jumped at two guys. My heart just left my body. I screamed like a baby. I cried like a baby. It was crazy. I was like, Frankie, you're crazy. Frankie, you just, I was like, Frankie, you're crazy. Frankie, you're crazy. Frankie, you're crazy. Frankie, you're crazy. Like, what are you doing? But at the same time, when I jumped, I was just like, frankly, like, like if you can do this, like, who can stop you? Like, you, you can do everything in your life. Like, you can do everything. You are powerful. You are strong. You didn't listen to anybody, you know? I feel like, and then the crazy thing is that I really want to have with a friend. I really wanted to have this experience with someone who I know. But I feel like God didn't want that. God wanted me to do it by myself so I can really, like, do some stuff by myself, you know? Like, how my dad was saying, communist. It's like, no, this time you have to do it by yourself because this experience is with you and yourself. Guys, when I jump, 
I was just like, yeah, I did it. I don't think people understand that it's not when you jump like crazy. Like when I jump, actually, when I rethink about it, it was actually cool. It's after when you stop. And then he put that thing up. That's why you feel actually this side diving because now you're just floating on the side to go slowly down. And then I just seen the floor and I was like, what the heck are you doing? And it was kind of tight. If you see it, it was kind of tight on me here. So it was hurting me. Like my boom, my boom was hurting because after when you do this, it goes faster. So when he was doing this, it was like, I was like, it was, mm. It was, it was hurting, it was hurting, it was hurting so bad. But it was going fast and then you were like, let's do it again. I'm like, don't no, stop, please. I just want to touch the floor, guys. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> and guys, when I touch the floor, you guys don't understand how I appreciate the floor. I, I like I fell in love with the floor like I <laughs> I was so happy to touch the floor I was so happy it was that was that Francisca <laughs> I love the floor you love the floor I love the floor what was what was your favorite part guys it's the most crazy thing ever he's the best but oh my god <laughs> you come back for another one no hell no <laughs> <laughs> All right, high five for me. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome, my pleasure. Yeah, guys, you guys really need to do it, guys. If I do it, you guys can do it. It's your challenge. Ooh. And it is an experience that I can crush from my bucket list. And I can tell you when I'm going to have my kid that I actually skydive. It was just an amazing experience. And I, I just didn't realize that I actually did it. I actually did it. I actually skydived. It was just so crazy and then guys you guys know i didn't tell my parents of the first thing i did because i was just like oh my gosh i did it and i was just scared that you know my dad is like where's my daughter i miss his dad somewhere so i called my dad i was so scared to get mad Call my dad yo i just died oh my god i was still the most and then my dad was just like what are you talking about I was like what is that i just jumped from the back he was he didn't trust me he's like no way you did i was like dad just jumped from the plane i did it he was like what are you talking about and i was just like dad dad i just died died and he was just not understanding so he's like okay congratulations are you okay i'm like yeah dad i'm okay of course i'm okay i'm calling you so i arrived home and the first thing i showed my dad he was just like oh my thank you and started giving me lessons don't play with life but he was really happy with me and I just, I told him why I did that. And I told him how it was really important to me and I did it by myself. He was really, really proud for me. And the biggest thing I can tell everybody is just like, you have to try to skydive in your life because skydiving is a big experience. It was really amazing. I will never forget about it. And um, it was really, 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 really good. And as 2024 is coming, I've been pushing everybody to never stop just do it do your stuff don't listen to what people think you just have one life yeah life can be tough and this and that but you gotta be to push yourself to do whatever you love and um yeah guys thank you guys for watching till the end and i love you guys so much i hope you love it and see you guys in the next video bye